We are here on the Max and Shop floor and it's an exciting day because a new product is uh, leaving the shop floor today. It's this uh, robotic high efficiency joint in a new diameter 70 and with me here is Mario Maurer. He's a business development manager at Maxon and responsible for all things robotic. Uh, Mario, can you explain what we have here now? Yes, thanks. Uh, this is the extension of our high efficiency joint platform, the first extension we built. As you say correctly, it's a smaller size. It's about half as heavy as the existing system we built already. And this is now targeting more mobile manipulation applications. So we have two sizes at the moment. The AGJ90 is the big one, which has more than 100 Newton meters of torque, 140 Newton meters at two kilogram. This is now one kilogram at 50 Newton meter peak torque. So it really extends our portfolio for modern robotics actuator applications. Same product logic, same values, same USPs, just much smaller. So can you name a few uh, robotic applications where this would be the ideal fit? Yes, so typical examples are modern autonomous robots in unstructured environments. This starts with quadrupedal robots. It can go to humanoids. It can be a wheeled base that has bimanual uh, arms to perform certain uh, assembly tasks, for example. Um, but it's really a broad system that can be used in many applications. For example, also for wheel drives or steering drives in rugged and in harsh environments. Because it's IP67 sealed and it's very over torque capable. All of our high efficiency joints are. So collecting a new product directly from the shop floor, that's always an exciting day. Can you explain us what it took to uh, manufacture this new size here? Yes, it took at the same time very much effort by a, a large team that stands behind these systems. But at the same time, it also took very little because thanks to Maxon's experience in designing such highly integrated actuators from our portfolio, we managed to build this system from the first kickoff meeting that I initiated 13 months ago to today in less than 13 months. And seven months of this was pure component lead time. So this is a huge testament to the great engineering team that makes such system possible in a surprising short amount of time. Um, because you have to imagine, this has the same features as the larger cousin, the HHA90, but it's half the mass. So it's actually harder to integrate all these systems into such a compact actuator. So even with these robotic joints, the motto is getting smaller and smaller. So is this the smallest version or will there be more in future? No, this is actually not the smallest system. We go one size smaller. At the moment, we call it AGJ Micro. Um, right now, the CAD design is being finalized of this system. Um, it's launching first samples early 2026. And we're also going bigger because in the future, robots will become more and more capable. They will augment humans more and more. So we will also need um, some actuators that are a bit bigger, go to a bit higher torques, maybe approaching 300 Newton meter peak. Um, but we also go smaller, especially for mobile manipulation, for end effectors, for grippers. This is the business end of a robot, right? Where a robot performs tasks. So this is immensely important. And Maxon is very well positioned with small sized actuators for such robotics applications.